My name is Kevin Knight. I'm director of the Natural Language Group at the Information Sciences Institute. I'm also a professor in the Computer Science Department and an ISI fellow. My work's mainly in the area of automatic translation of human languages. For example, the machine translates from Chinese to English. This is an area with uh, broad applications and many uses for everyday people in the real world. Uh, we're also applying translation technology to the decipherment of historical manuscripts. For example, we recently deciphered the Copial manuscript from the 1700s that has resisted being deciphered until now. It turns out to be from a secret society in Germany and our machine together with human intuition uh, was able to unlock its contents. Our translation software learns uh, translation patterns from large collections of human translated material. Previously complex grammatical transformations had to be programmed manually by hand but we've developed techniques to learn those uh, grammatical transformations automatically. Whereas before, uh, a person could only type in several thousand rules, we're able to learn very large knowledge bases of up to 500 million rules. Um, this increases the translation accuracy significantly. In the future, uh, you'll pick up the phone, uh, call someone in Japan, you speak English, they speak Japanese, and the phone will translate. Uh, more broadly, uh, everywhere you go, the things you see, the things you read, the things you hear will appear to you in your own language, and whatever you say will be uh, automatically translated into someone else's language. And this all happen invisibly uh, mediated by computer software. The approach we use to decipher the historical Copial cipher uh, has a lot of applications as well. There are many uh, historical documents, uh, diplomatic and military documents from the after Renaissance to pre-modern period in uh, archives in uh, European capitals that are still uh, undeciphered and historians are very interested in these. So overall, what we're trying to do is reduce language barriers so that uh, people around the world can communicate more effectively with each other.